So, hello everyone. Uh, back again this week, this uh, discussing the 2010 season. This week, I'm joined by Steve Daly. All right, mate, how are you? Good, Jim. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. So, how are you spending life in lockdown? I'm a builder by trade, so I've had the, I've been um, I've still I've been furloughed from work, which is not a not a big deal. It's, uh, I'm getting I'm getting paid, so I'm starting a double extension, so it gives me something to do every day on my house. So you're doing, good, doing something that you couldn't normally have time to do. No, exactly. Which I'm probably going to take two weeks holiday in work to do to to start now. I can do it. Uh, I can do it. Which is it's good. You know, there's a, obviously a bad situation what's happened, but it is a good thing for me to come out of it. Is I, I can uh, freeze up my time anyway. So obviously, obviously, it's not the most important thing at the moment. But everyone seems to be missing the football. So how are you coping without it? Yeah, uh, well. It's 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 just boring, isn't it? Without the, without the football on the telly and with uh, and and things like me, me two lads, me two lads who, who went when we won the league in two thousand and ten, where they were how old were they? Five and now fifteen, and they play both played for Burnley Academy, and they, they, that's normally my weekend is going to watch them every Saturday and Sunday. So it's just um, it's just it's just a bit boring at the minute, but we'll get through it. So obviously you mentioned you lads were that 2010 season. Does it feel like 10 years ago to you? No, it it, do, it, it doesn't. It, it's it's pretty. Uh, it's just flew. It's flew over, but it it's great memories. And like I said, you probably have to. You probably have to prompt me with a few memories. But the, the season in a whole, it, it was just uh, it was the best season I've had personally, and uh, from a personal point of view, in me and also from from a team point of view. Obviously, there was good spirit amongst you in the squads. Was that one of the main driving forces towards that victory? Yeah, I think uh, it was. It, it was just a great blend of, of people, characters, and you know, it just worked. I I always remember every time we played, I just felt we'd score. Uh, we had, we had, we were atta- we were an attacking side, uh, and. Uh, it was such a such a good season. It's such a good team to play because, especially being a, being a forward, you know. And of course, you'd been at Southport a few spells before that, so was it nice to return and be part of such a good team? Oh, for me, for me, it was the best team I played in that season. I just think that the pressure we got put under from Fleetwood, who, who were you know spending big, uh, a lot more a lot more money than us, you know, and I just think. We had a lot of games in hand. I just think we never, we never crumbled. We just, we just, we just went through it, and it was unbelievable, really, that that it went right, right down, right down to the last day. Let's Again. go back to that last game at Eastwood. What was your nerves like going into that? Well, I was actually suspended for the last three games of the season. Um, so, but I got suspended against Northwich Victoria. It was a bit of a mad game because I missed the penalty. We we needed to win because obviously Fleetwood were winning. We we needed to win, and I missed the penalty, and then got sent off after it. So it was, and that was me end of my season. But going into the game, even not playing, I was I was nervous, and but and that and that I remember Eastwood. It, it wasn't a great pitch, and but uh, I think we we done the business, which I knew we would. Uh, if we if it was in our hands, we, we'd win. We'd win. Do you think it was worse for you? Like being on the sidelines and not be able to have that sort of impact influence. Oh, definitely. I, I wanted to. I wanted to be a part of it. I remember the amount of fans that travelled up there. And said, you know, I'm still a part of it, but you want to be on the pitch. You want to at the end of when the final whistle goes. You want to be. You want to be playing. But I, I think I contribute. What my contribution, but you know, even Liam. I remember Liam saying to me, you know. That's why we've got. We had we had three good, really good strikers who all contributed, and they, and he said, you know, it's up to the two strikers left now to, and he did, so which is good. And there's a few strange things going on before that game, such as like a Fleetwood had uh, applied to the FA to get some more points. So was that was that just something the team put to the back of their mind, like just wanted to do your job? Yeah, I, I thought it'll take care of itself. So I just thought, you know, we we went we went. I remember we went we heard about it, and but. It was all, yeah. We we weren't too worried about it. We just win the game, we win the league, and I think that that was that was never going to change. So keeping focus on Fleetwood, 
did that sort of rivalry, did that make it that extra bit spicy and might look a bit better winning the title? Oh, it was it was brilliant. Like it was brilliant. It was just uh, all the way through. You know, it's. I, I remember we had that many games. If I can remember, I know it was ten years ago. We had we had a, we had games in hand, and um, the they 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 were expecting us to 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 slip up, and we just kept winning. And I, and I remember one game, we, we, which was one of the games, and was it was Stalybridge Tuesday night, and I, and I remember Mickey Mellon was. It was. It was what I think he comes to every, every game that we had that which they didn't have. I think he come to watch just just you know, and again Tuesday night to stay a bit. It's never easy, and we won. We won that game. So it was. I, we always knew that, that they were hoping for us to slip up, but we never did. Did it sort of help you having another team so close to you, knowing that you had to keep winning? You didn't. You couldn't uh, take your foot off the gas. Yeah. No. Well, looking back now. You don't you don't think about it too much when you when you're actually in the moment. But looking back now, to 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 do what we've done and just keep winning, it's uh, you don't really feel the pressure when it's when it's at the time. But I'd be I'd be, I'd be nervous now if you could go if you think about it now. It's like you know you know because they weren't going to lose. That if if we lost, they they just go on and win. So just to keep winning and put it leave it in our hands. Is, it was it was, uh, it was brilliant. Now, one of the standout games from that season was the Boxing Day 5-0 victory over Fleetwood at Hague Avenue. So, what are your memories from that? Oh, that was that was uh, that was unbelievable. It was um, it was just it was just a, I think we just done. It was just a game. It wasn't great football. It was just we just dominated them and we just we just out fought them. And uh, I think I think that set I think that set the, the rivalry up uh, even more. You know, I think they they didn't want, they wouldn't want to play us again, and I don't, I don't think they did play us again. Or after that, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But yeah, it was fantastic. The atmosphere and everything. I, like I said, that's that's the that's what I miss most is the is the the build up the because box especially Boxing Day at home at home on Boxing Day against Fleetwood it doesn't get much better. And if anyone wants to relive that match on Saturday, the club's replaying that match on uh, Saturday afternoon. Just can you watch the whole match again? Can watch it from the sidelines instead of being on the pitch this time. When's that? On Saturday. Oh, what in the on the telly or on the? It's on the on Facebook. The, what do you mean? On, on you the can Facebook, watch it back yeah. on Facebook and YouTube. I'll have a look at that. Definitely. Good well, memories. It's sort of weird for you just watching it back, sort of thing. Like, see, will it like jog back memories that you might not think about anymore? Yeah, of course it does. It's like anything. It? Because it's ten years ago, there's 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 things that you remember, and there's things that people remind me of, and I, and I forget. So it's uh, I'm sure it'll, when I watch the game, I said I couldn't remember the game, but yeah, I'm sure it'll be uh, it'll be there'll be a few things that you can remember. Of course, you, the manager for that season was Liam Watson, who's now back at the club. So how important was mm. his management style to that success and getting the best out of the team? I remember him saying to them. Um, Get me, Killer, and Simo together pre-season, and saying, "Oh, we need, you know, we if we score twenty goals each, we'll win the league." And that, you know, and it just sort of motivated us at the start. And I don't think we all hit that, but I think the contribution we all made, you know, put, put us on the right path. And you, you can't win the league with just two forwards. So you've got to, you got to, three at least three have got to contribute. And I think we all did. What impact do you sort of have in your career as a whole? Um, well, it was the most, it was the best time. Every time I played for Liam, I always had the best success. And, and I, you know, I'll, I'll, even though I did win the league with Zoylston as well, but it just wasn't the same. You know, it's, it, he was paying Pacey, Pacey's a bit, was a bit like Fleetwood where, you know, they pay a lot of money at Zoylston, but it wasn't the right move. For, it didn't end up being the right move for me. And it just, it just felt better. It just feels better when I play for Liam and, and when I was playing for Southport. Do you go back visiting the club often? Which? Yes, no, but me, me two lads, me two lads keep asking me to can we go up and um, can we go and watch a game on a Saturday? Obviously that before this, before uh, all this started, all the lockdown started. So I definitely will uh, I want to get up with with me two lads and um, you know, because there's there'll still be a few familiar faces there. Um so yeah, I, I will be once it all dies down, I'm gonna bring me bring me two boys. I think the last game yeah, it was a few years ago, the last the last time I've been up to watch. What are sort of your resounding memories of like relationship with the fans at the club? 
Uh, I, 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 had a, I had a really good. I, at the very beginning, when I, my first spell, obviously, you know, it was it, it wasn't it was it, it was difficult because we we weren't doing too well. But I think it's like anything. You, you, I was the type of player that I know I know what fans appreciate, and if you if it's not going your way, but you're working hard, he said, that's all you can ask for. And then. Yeah, it was it was a good relationship, and I always worked hard, and, and they appreciated that. And you know, I I had some memorable moments um, with the fans. You know, Harrogate, two thousand five. So I can um, I can say it was really good. Yeah. And just going back to that final day of the season in twenty ten, what was those celebrations like after? And do you hope to sort of have a reunion when all this is over with the lads and start to repeat it? Well, yeah, well. It was. It's just. It was just unbelievable. It's, it's, there's. There's no better feeling. There's no better feeling than going a full season, on. On you know, through the winter, Tuesday nights, and just, 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 and then obviously to win it like we did on the last day. It's just, even though it was away from home, but it's. It, it's just a. Uh, it's just perfect, and um, it's just a celebration. There's not nothing changes. It just gets just gets a bit messy on the way home, and I think it was a two at two and a half east for a two and a half hour drive. Pretty, uh, pretty drunk when we got off the bus. So it was, um, it was brilliant, and and um, something you never forget. And I think I spoke to the we, we set up a WhatsApp group recently, Kev Lee, about getting together after this was all finished, and I'm sure we will because we we done something after this for the 2005 uh, league winning season, and we definitely we definitely need to do something with uh, this this team because it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen very often winning the league. You're winning titles, you've got to enjoy it. You've got to enjoy it. Well, thank you very much for joining me today, mate. It's been a pleasure. That's not a problem, mate. And I'll uh, hopefully get in touch soon, come up and see us. Brilliant. Thank you to everyone who watched. And the match against Fleetwood will be available on YouTube and Southport social media uh, this Saturday. So hope everyone's okay and hope they enjoy.